Welcome to Help Stop the Genocide in American Ghettos podcast. I'm your host, Emmanuel Barbie. This um, evening, we have a special guest, Miss Lori H. Smalls. She's going to talk to us about her uh, traveling business. Okay, you're on the air. Good evening, everyone. Hello, Mr. Bobby. Thank you for inviting me. Yes. It is a true pleasure. My name is Lorraine Smalls. I own a travel online travel agency. Now people use, will use online other like uh, travel advisors or whatever to book their trips and not use tra uh, actual travel advisors. Now the, re the problem with that is if you have a problem with your vacation or you need to cancel, or something happens while you're on your vacation, you definitely can't talk to anyone. With a travel advisor, a live one, all of those things can be answered and resolved quickly. Also, you have the personal touch where you get perks for you, your family, for your friends. If you're already booking, you're already a travel advisor. So we do lots of things. We have faith travel, faith tours. We also have exotic, tropical groups, senior trips, family reunions, business trips, villas, hotels. Um, we do it all all over the world and you will enjoy every moment of it. So Mr. Bobby, please tell us, what do you do for your business? Well, technically uh, my business is not up and running uh, at the time, at the moment, because um, I don't have much support, but that's how come I've written my revised book. The Solution for Black America, Reclaiming, Rebuilding, and Restoring the Urban Ghettos in America, Second Edition. And you can find my book on Amazon, and I will provide the link in the um, comment section below this video podcast. So I need people to uh, read my story first and foremost. Um, also, donate to our film project. And I also have the link to that in the um, comment section below this video podcast on our GoFundMe page. And the title of our uh, film project is called Hood Liberator Made in Chicago, The War Against Willie Lee Begins. And basically that's going to be a um, docudrama based on my revised book. Now, the whole purpose of me, um, I would say, doing a film project as well as the reason why I wrote my book and the reason why I have a virtual store is to generate capital to start my nonprofit. And the name of my nonprofit is called the Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Chicago. And basically what our goal is to do is to help eradicate urban violence in Chicago through art, culture, commerce, spiritual development, as well as hosting African tours. We're gonna to visit 10 African nations, Starting in South Africa and in each African nation, we want to set up, um, I would say, a local chapter. So that way we can do international trade with our brothers and sisters on the continent. That's excellent. That's what I'm trying to do. But unfortunately, I don't have support here in my own city. But And I'm not going to sit up here and just, um, you know, you know, complain about that. That's how come I created this platform to get my message out loud and clear to those who will heed to you know what I'm saying. That's excellent. Yes, because I want to you know bypass these negative negative people. You know, people that just want to sit and complain about you know the social conditions, but don't want to really do anything to really solve it. And so that's the reason why I call uh, my title of the book the solution. You know, I want to um, provide solutions. We want to focus on strengthening the black family in this uh, in my Christian business, and work with keeping the youth safe, giving them um, positive things to do, like being part of our black empowerment films. 
and you know that song just trying to give people our people a better um give them options in life that's wonderful and i hope people will listen and start to contribute the name of my business which i forgot to say is exquisite travels tours and services by lorraine i'm on instagram TikTok, Facebook. I have a Facebook book group page and a business page. You are welcome to look and see. I am a type of person, I'm very personable to make sure that you get everything that you need for your vacation. Children, we dedicate to children as well. Matter of fact, I was reading one of our vendors is reopening an adult only um, vacation and it started today. And it travels, the traveling dates is from now to December 23rd. I will be posting that shortly. We have wonderful vacations, cruises, river boats, you name it, we do it. And I know everyone would love to enjoy every moment of their vacation worry-free, and that's what we do. We handle all the details so you don't have to worry about anything. That's why we are travel advisors. Mr. Bobby, I hope and pray everything goes well, and I will be buying your book because we do need help and people do complain and don't want to do anything. They want to sit back and wait for somebody else to do it. And I'm proud of you for getting out there, trying to better our situation. I really appreciate that, but I do want to mention too, and before you go too, I just want to mention this to my listeners, the uh, 10 uh, African nations. Um, first of all, I just want to say, too, I'm reaching out to uh, African immigrants here within the United States of America to help uh, be a part of this, because um, the sooner that they get involved, because we have to learn how to get along with each other first before we even go over to the continent. So I want to um, encourage people from um, the African community and um 10 African nations, um, they are as follows, South Africa, Kenya, Ethiopia, Tanzania, Uganda, Angolia, Liberia, Ivory Coast, Ghana, and Nigeria. So those are the um, countries that we're going to go visit in Africa, but I want African immigrants from those countries that's here in America to read my story first. So that way you can know what this is all about. As well as Black Americans, I want you all to read that as well. Because I only want to, and, and those that agree, make arrangements with me to come on this show so we can talk about it. I can try to explain it to you so that way you, you, we can all be on the same page. Now, the Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Chicago will have eight main components. A social service component, a spiritual component, which will be optional for secular people. Because we're not going to be hitting people over the over the, the head about, oh, you got to be saved. We're not going to do that. Because God is calling me to move beyond the four walls of the church. Um, and, you know, I'm not with that uh, organized religion. Over here, you can serve God freely. Because it's about a yeah. personal relationship. I'm just saying. Yeah. We're going to have um, a, a political component. We're going to teach our members the ins and outs about politics, because that's very important, um, Miss Lori, because our people have been voting for the Democrats for 60 years, and we're not really getting nothing really good out of the deal. So over here, we're um, pushing for, um, I would say, lineage-based cash payments reparations for descendants of American slaves, as well as an anti-black hate crime bill. That's what we want to push for to these uh, politicians if they want our vote. Also, uh, we're going to have an entrepreneur component. We're going to teach our members how to create nonprofits as well as for-profit businesses. 
And uh, in my Christian business, we're going to invest in our youth and uh, help um, turn their dreams into a reality so that they don't have to go through the kind of mess that I have to endure just trying to do something positive in the black community. Um, we have, yes, uh, entertainment um, component. Like I say, we want to promote um, positive um, black empowerment films, not sitting up glorifying being a drug dealer. That's not nothing to um, glorify because that's destroying the black community. A, a drug dealer is not a hero. So we want to debunk that kind of garbage. Um, over here, we also going to have um, a black grassroots media where we control our own media. So that way, um, we're going to have an Afrocentric perspective. Um, we're going to have a health and wellness component as well as a science and technology um, component. So that's all going to be within this business. And we want to replicate it in other African nations. And I hope, um, Ms. Uh, Lori, that this can also expand in other um, cities across the United States of America. But again, I don't want to... My goal is to get it popping here in Chicago and then expand it to the African nations. I That's believe it will. I it will catch on fire and here. I, yes, and I hope that we, we, me and you, can negotiate um, doing some type of partnership because you know we're gonna visit ten African nations and we're gonna have to have you know a traveling you know person. Right. Yeah. So we'll see. We shall we'll, see. We will see. But I will put a package together for you that you would love. I understand. But my thing is, I don't sit up and just like to talk about stuff. I like to get things done and I want results. So in right. my Christian business, we're going to um, vet people. You know, again, I want to make sure that, um, people, that once I have that physical building on the west side of Chicago, we encourage, you know, the... Uh, community residents to be involved with this because after all this is for them and their and their right. family so what we want to do is you know we want to make sure that um we hold mandatory orientations that we um you know screen people that people pass our criminal background checks that people sign our um community pledge and submit their thumbprint so that way we can know who's doing what within the business and that, that way I can see how many supporters do we really have. Because it's fine to be online, but I'm not trying to uh, just hide behind no computer. I want people to see me in person. And I want to connect with my members. And all, yes, because, you know, um, Black Chicago rejected my vision and plan for the past 31 years. That's how come I'm making it membership base. Wow. Um. Do you do you have any specific questions that you'd like to ask me about about the business? Um, yes. Go ahead, please. Um, would you like to expand to the south, not just Chicago? Maybe have a secondary base office or corporate office here in Georgia. Well, like I was saying, I hope it expands to other cities across the United States. I hope so. Okay, what it, does it, it take? Does what does it take in order to facilitate this? Well, it takes, first of all, for us to get it popping right here in Chicago. So like I say, read for people to help get my uh, revised, read my revised book. And I hope that it can get on that bestsellers list so people can take me serious. Because my thing is we want to make Chicago a model first. That's all I'm saying. Right. Also, uh, this is going to be for credibility, too, when we go over to Africa. So I don't have to waste time trying to explain his Emmanuel Barbie. I want to be known for creating the Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Chicago. For me, this is more than just about um, a new business endeavor. This is going to be a new system that we, as I would say, Black Americans slash um, African immigrants are going to build from the ground up. Right. Yeah. Well, I do wish you well with that. And what I'm hearing from you is going to be very awesome for people to get into and get involved so we can build up the Black community and African community. 
because we need to stick together more than what we are at this present time. We're falling apart instead of gathering together. And that's not a good thing. Yes, sure. Because right. too many things are happening in different states to our African American people that shouldn't be happening because we're not united. Exactly. And uh, I do want to just mention too, um, it's going to get worse for black people here in America. So that's how come through my business, I want to give um, at least black parents options. Right. That's all. And we nothing wrong with that. Also, I do want to mention too, um, in South Africa, again, I'm, I'm going to lead by example. I'm going to apply for dual citizenship. There's nothing wrong with that. No. Like people should think outside the box, you know, you know, look elsewhere too. That, fighting, our, our people have been fighting for the past 60 years, marching and protesting, begging the white supremacist financial elites for freedom, justice, and equality, and they still haven't uh, gave that to us. No, actually, it, it is getting worse year by year, day by day. I hear so many bad things happening to our Black men, especially the young men, every day, and it's sad. And Miss Lori, I do want to go here and go there and tell you this. It's sad that we have black millionaires that can really help, you know, solve a lot of these issues. But a lot of our people have become Americanized. I got mine, you get yours. So they don't care about the community, nor do they care about the black youth, you know, um, living in, you know, impoverished uh, communities, which was, you know, um, it was created by design in that you know, to be like that. Right. So so we would have to obey. True, true that. But all I'm saying is that, um, you know, all this stuff is, we, we have been sabotaged, you know, ever since, you know, I would say since uh, Black Wall Street. You know, we built something positive, but yet, you know, they destroyed it. So it's just well, horrible. Mr. Bobby, I must say this. There are a few Black rich people that are getting together and buying land to build homes for low-income people. Um, there are a few that are trying to do something. Not everybody, but those that are doing those things, it is a beginning of something good happening for us. That's true, but I, I am going to keep it real, Miss um, Lori. Um, all I can tell you is that uh, Black Americans, we cannot stop the white supremacist financial elites for, from um, gentrifying our community. We can't stop that. We Also, we can't stop them for allowing uh, illegal immigrants to keep coming over here in this country. We can't stop that. But one thing that we can do, and not all of us has got that mindset, we could reclaim our ancestral homeland, which is Africa, and we could bring our talents and skills there. And in the Caribbean. That's all I'm trying to do. And those that don't want to, those that want to stay here and keep fighting to each his own. All I'm saying is by uh, 2050, 2050, I predict it's going to get even worse for blacks in America um, as a collective. Um, that's what I'm thinking. You're right. Because day by day, it is getting worse. We have no, to put a stop to it. Black people in America will become a permanent underclass, I'm saying, as a collective. Um, because it's too many of our people, you know, they think off code. Now, in my revised book, all of the principles in there, that's the code. That means that we are on one accord that we, you know, we have a mindset that we want to uh, connect with our brothers and sisters that's right. in the African continent, that's in the Caribbean. So that way we can have a, we have an alliance. Yes, we do need an alliance. That is for sure. Yes. Yes. So that is uh, in, anything else you, you would like to say before we uh, close for today? Yes. Um, my second part of my business is network marketing and people have, they snarl up to that, but they shouldn't because on the back of the dollar bill is a pyramid. They call network marketing 
a pyramid. We all have a higher person and it come, trickles down. So everything, basically, America was built on a pyramid. And everybody can have their share with network marketing work for themselves and not work for other people. Don't have a boss, work as much as you want or as little as you want. So look me up. It's Exquisive Travels, Tours, and Services by Lorraine. Um, I want something else. I want you, if you don't mind, can you tell them how to find you on uh, Facebook too? Um, it's Lori H. Smalls for Facebook. Okay. All righty. Okay, there. There, uh, you all, you have it. So I need y'all to um, support her and her business, um, her traveling uh, business, and hopefully we can um, discuss doing some type of uh, partnership. That because sounds I good. I am e e e Either way it goes, I am going to need um, a traveling um, agent, Thanks. you know, when we uh, start doing our African tours. Right. Yeah. So I'm glad um, to get connections with you. Thank you. And I'm glad to be connected with you as well. I want to encourage everyone that's on my Facebook friends list that have businesses to, to contact me and uh, make arrangements to come on the show so that you can promote your business or your small, um, if you have a small ministry. That's what this um, platform is all about. That's I didn't create this platform just to try to sell my uh, stuff and talk about just myself. I want to share this and I want to do this in my real business as well. I want to make sure that everybody uh, benefits um, in this type of business. With that being said, thank you all for your time. Peace and blessings. Thank you, everyone. Have a good evening.